toll could double if states reopen too soon. President Trump landing back in Washington overnight after touring a mask manufacturing facility in Arizona. It was the president's first trip out of Washington in more than a month, and it's the first time we're hearing that the White House is looking to break up the coronavirus task force that includes Dr. Anthony Fauci and Dr. Deborah Birx by Memorial Day. We're now looking at a little bit of a different form, and that form is safety and opening, and we'll... Uh, We'll have a different group probably set up for that. Critics were quick to attack that choice and say the predicted rise in confirmed cases is why the task force should stay. This president, his, he's got a lot of problems. One of his biggest is he runs away from truth. We just had one of the deadliest months in American history in April. We're on track to kind of match it again in May. New York Governor Andrew Cuomo says he understands the pressure to open up. It says the decision between economic cost and human cost, as in lives lost, is the decision we're really making here. How do you reopen? Do you just open the gates or do you do it intelligently? And what we're doing in this state, we're talking about reopening, but reopening intelligently, reopening based on facts and data. We are very confident that we're going to have a vaccine at the end of the year, by the end of the year, have a vaccine. Two days after the president said we would see a vaccine before 2021, was asked again if that's still the case. Am I convinced? I can't be convinced of anything. But I think that we have a really good shot of having something very, very substantial. At least 42 states will have eased some coronavirus restrictions come this Sunday. In the newsroom, Brandon Gano, 7 News, Today in New England. The ASTA director of the office involved in a developing coronavirus vaccine is sounding the alarm. Dr. Rick Bride formally filed a whistleblower complaint. He claims his early warnings about the coronavirus were ignored. He also says his caution about a treatment that was favored by President Trump led to his removal. Bride is calling for a full investigation and is expected to testify on Capitol Hill next week. Here at home in Medford, a nursing home is dealing with a cluster of COVID-19 cases. 54 residents at the Courtyard Nursing Care Center have died, and more than 100 others have tested positive. A doctor says two employees have also died. The center says workers have followed health department and CDC guidelines to protect residents. We've had our National Guard, the National Guard come to Medford at least six times. They've been extremely responsive as far as the testing is concerned. And once the start, National Guard was here starting to test, um, our numbers, we, we hit the surge with everybody else in the Commonwealth, especially in our long-term care facilities. So it's, it's tragic. City leaders say that they have been communicating with the center since the outbreak began. An employee at the Target store in Boston's Fenway neighborhood is tested positive for the virus. Target says the employee went into quarantine and is following health guidelines. It says all employees at the location were notified and the store was sanitized. Store managers also say employees will be given masks, gloves, and thermometers as a precaution. A man is facing charges over a social distancing dispute at a Dorchester bank. Police say that he pulled out a gun over the six feet rule. We want to head out live to Seven's Carrie Carrado with all of the details. Carrie. Amaka, good morning. Police say a man pulled out a gun when customers at the bank told him to stay away and keep his distance. <laughs> Thankfully, no one was hurt. <laughs> a social distancing disagreement in Dorchester. It all happened as customers were waiting in line at this bank on Washington Street just before 1 o'clock Tuesday afternoon. Police say customers felt the man was getting too close. They say that man got upset and pulled out a gun and pointed it at other customers when they refused to move back and make room. Really, he put the, uh, the gun inside his hoodie. Police say the man left the bank just before officers showed up. But witnesses got a good look. Car in the move still? The man didn't get far. Officers spotted his car a few blocks away on Whitfield Street. They found a loaded gun when they searched the car. We advise the bank has this incident on video. While there is video of the incident on the bank's cameras, police say they will not be releasing it because they made an arrest. <laughs> so that man was charged with assault and battery with a dangerous weapon, among other charges. We're live in Dorchester this morning. Kerry Corrado, 7 News, Today, New England. It was Batman again. The Attorney again. General is getting involved after a violent outbreak at a Bristol <laughs> County Immigration Detention Center. Oh the God. sheriff says a group of ICE detainees refused to be tested for the virus, attacked staff, and then trashed the unit last week. Civil rights advocates, though, say the detainees reported inhumane treatment by officers there. 
And the co-owner and CEO of the Celtics is stepping up to help in the research race to beat the coronavirus. They are donating $1 million to researchers developing a vaccine for COVID-19. Healthcare workers at MGH are partnering with Mass Eye and Ear to search for a solution. They say it's the least that they can do to help. We're just trying to pitch in and do what we can. We're really lucky to be able to do it. We need multiple vaccines to be able to cure the world, and that's what everybody's trying to do is cure the world. So, uh, and, every but, so and every little bit helps. Every little bit helps. <laughs> so officials say if the vaccine is a success, they hope to make it available to the public next year. No Happening vaccine. today, fighter jets are going to be flying over the state to honor those on the front lines. F-15 scheduled to jet over area hospitals this afternoon. Jesus. They'll begin at 12:15 over Boston, then head out west. They should reach Worcester around 12:25, then finish out in Western Massachusetts in Springfield and Holyoke. Stay with the news station for the latest on the coronavirus emergency. You can always get updates on air on whdh.com and on the Seven News app. Also on 7, Venezuela's president is claiming to have two Americans in custody after a failed coup attempt. The Venezuelan government releasing photos of two men being ca captured by the military. The CEO of a Florida-based security services company told the Washington Post the men were a part of an operation which was supposed to infiltrate the country. The U.S. State Department denies any connection yeah. with the operation and says Venezuela's claims are part of a disinformation campaign. Supreme Court Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg is on the mend and is expected to be back at work today. She'll participate by phone, as all justices are doing right now. A spokesperson for the Supreme Court says Justice Ginsburg had a gallstone infection. She was treated yesterday and is expected to spend the next day or so resting at the hospital. And this just in. Well, anyway, now what do you want to do? Can you What happened? I don't know. <laughs> Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's son Archie is one years old. The couple releasing this video of the Duchess of Sussex reading the birth reading to the birthday boy. It promotes a charity helping to feed kids during the pandemic. Proud Dad Harry is behind the camera having a blast filming his family. And I think this is like our first really good look at little Archie. I mean, right. we've photographs, but never a video like this. We've yeah. been getting so much more from them now recently, yeah. of course. So it's nice to see a little more of the inside of their family. Now that they're away kind of from the public eye. Yes. All right. Up next on Today in New England, a driving lesson leaves a local father all bruised up. We'll tell you what went wrong that led up to a bad attack. And what Governor Baker is doing to make sure that moms get their flowers on Mother's Day. And another mild day in store, taking a live look over the city. Plenty of sunshine out there, a little chilly to start off your Wednesday. How long the dry weather will last. And cruising into space, the actor known for doing his own stunts is really taking it to new heights. We'll have details on this coming up on today.